Hi, teacher. Hi, Debbie. I keep working, teacher. Sorry. My goodness. You're not you're not free yet. No, teacher. Oh. Estos días han estado un poquito problemáticos. Yes. That's because you're at the end, right? Yes. The end of the month. Well, at the end of the year. Is the in this moment is the cuadrar como se dice? Let me see. Cuadrar los gastos. Oh. That's why. Vamos a ver. Ah, to make the balance expenses. The balance expenses. Balance, to balance the expenses. Yes. Wow. Yeah, when that happens, everything gets hard. Yes. It's hard, yes. Wow. Hopefully, you can have some free time later, right? Yeah, I I I balance the five hundred mil, no five hundred, quinientos mil, cuánto? Quinientos mil, five hundred thousand. Yeah, well, five hundred thousand is the wow. balance. That's enormous. Yes. That's enormous. Of course, it should take lots of time, right? It's okay. It's okay. Hi, hi. How are you? Nice to see you. Now we are four. Hmm? Hi, teacher. Hi. How are How are you? Long time. Good. Long, everything everything okay long time not seeing you espero hoy me pueda ver teacher okay, okay. teacher hoy recibí mi contraseña de bueno la nueva invitación al correo para la plataforma me cambiaron de correo okay así que esta noche yo me quedo haciendo todo perfect perfect okay Vamos a ver, how many? How many people are here now? Oh, we are eight. Yeah, let's see. De dos o tres, teacher. Dos o tres, no, you're eight. Eight. No. Hey, hey no traje. Oh, wow. And without water, I cannot survive. Okay. Let's see. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Fine, thanks. Excellent. Hello, teacher. Hi. Give me a second, give me a second. Le echaron agua. Ay, eso no me va a durar ni media hora. Vamos a ver. As I speak too much, I drink a lot of water, right? <laughs> I remember a couple of courses ago, somebody told me, teacher, you're always drinking something. You're drinking, what are you drinking? He said, coffee, water, tea, whatever that keeps my throat 
wet. Right, that's very important. Thank you very much. Okay, but shut. Now we're ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine October 4th. In two days, we will be celebrating my sister's birthday. Okay, Adriana Maria. Adriana Maria, here. Yeah. Adriana Sofia. Present. Eh, Ana. Ana, Ana. No hay Ana. Cruz Antonio. Present. Okay. Estoy de incapacidad. Bueno, cosa. Chénica. Okay. A ver qué escriben los doctores. Milagrosamente entendí el nombre. <ríe> ok, 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 ok. Perfecto, Chénica. Bueno, no perfect, pero pico es sick. Um, hmm. David? Present teacher. Nice. Um, hmm. Eddie, no here. Elmer Fabricio. Cristina. Present. Felix. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Grace. No Grace. Ivo Marcela. Present. Jennifer. Jennifer Elizabeth. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jenny. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Hoy un vaquero, José Alfredo. Mario Ernesto. Sí. Mar... Sí. Nubia. Nubia, Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Rossini. Victor. Victor. Claudia. Claudia. Mauricio. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Patch. No sé si Adriana María se ha unido y después que la llamé. No. No, no, no. Okay, fine. Let's start. <clears throat> okay, well, today we are going to be talking about the enough, right? Enough. That's the structure that we're going to be using today. Ya ven lo que le digo. Me confundo con el zoom cuadrado, con el zoom redondo. Ok. Well, the objective today is uh, to use how uh, to learn how to use enough to modify adjectives. But we're going to talk a little bit also about how we use enough, not only with adjectives, but also with nouns, okay? Patch. Move, move, move. 
Okay, we will be classifying a couple of adjectives. So you tell me if they are positive or negative. And then we will be studying examples of enough, getting more enough, and then doing some practice. Okay, look at these adjectives. Just remember, first thing we need to know is what an adjective is and to get familiarized with the words that we are going to be using, right? In this case, adjectives. So, wait me a second, okay. So look at the adjectives. Which of them are positive, which are negative? And then we will be talking about which can be used with two, hmm. or with enough, right? Okay, go ahead. You just write P for positive and for negative. For example, if you say tall, is tall positive or negative? Hmm? Oh, tall. Is positive or negative? That is positive. Okay. Expensive. Negative. Negative. Mm -hmm. Big. Positive. Positive. Lucky. What is lucky? Positive or negative? Huh? Positive. 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 Easy. Positive. Positive. Easy is positive. It depends on what you're talking about. Yeah, I would say that. <laughs> yeah, it depends on what you're talking about. Confusing. Negative. Fortunate. Positive. Small. Positive. Is that positive? Both. Hmm. Okay. Do you like to have a small house, a small car, a small cell a, a, a small computer, yeah. for a small computer, a small salary, to receive your food in a small plate, to drink your cup, a small cup. Hmm? Negative. <laughs> after halfway after that noise <laughs> yeah negative all negative viejo los caminos teacher viejo los caminos not me <laughs> young positive it depends too uh, uh huh. The things young could be not. Uh, things cannot be young. A person can be young, but not a thing. A thing will be new. A person will be young, a pet. No. <coughs> but things cannot be young. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, what about nice? Positive. Mm -hmm. Large. Large positive. 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 Smart. Positive. 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 Mm -hmm. Nervous. Negative. Negative. Chai. Negative. Small again. Negative. Negative. <laughs> Intelligent. Positive. 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 Good. 
Strong. Sheep. Ay, no me vaya a pasar el sueño. Estoy galán. Ya lo vi, ya lo vi. El bostezo es contagioso. Crazy. Shape is negative. Ah. So, if the if the expensive is negative, the positive. Eh, crazy. Crazy is negative. It is negative. It depends. <laughs> it depends what are you crazy for. No, right? Crazy. That we will say negative. Lazy. Negative. 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 Honest. Positive. Positive. Emotional. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Negative. Definitely it's negative. An emotional person is somebody who cries for, for nothing and for everything, right? If you looked at them, they cry. If you didn't look at them, they cry. So, uh, so it's negative. Naive or naive. Negative. Far. Far. Positive. It's positive to be far. Negative. For example, if you say, I work very far. Is that positive? Fair, fair away. Hmm? <laughs> and Shrek, as you this year. Fair, fair away. <laughs> <laughs> okay, near. Positive. 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 Bueno, yo creo que ustedes están tomando lo del far y el near como positivo o negativo por el COVID, ¿verdad? <laughs> el distanciamiento social. But, ok, but in other context, that would be the opposite. Ok, long. Mm, positive. Um, negative. <laughs> uh -huh, because imagine if you say, ay, no, I have to make a long long line at the bank. Long will be negative. Yeah. Having your hair long could be positive. <laughs> so we can say both depending on what we're talking about. Short. Short. Para los domingos. Ah. Huh? <laughs> no, this is an adjective. The adjective short, not the shorts that you wear for on Sundays, right? Okay. Yeah. Um. For example, short is the opposite of of long, right? If you get to the bank and you find a short line, that's positive. But if you got a short salary, it's not so positive, right? Okay. Why? But if you do you have a short blue? A short? A short blue. Blue? Or blouse? Yes. Blue. Blue? Yes. What do you mean by a short blue? Short. Like a short. Blue shorts. But that's... Yes. Okay. If you have blue... No, but here we're talking about the adjective. Adjective. Right? No, the shorts that we wear to stay home. Okay, what about wide? wide. Positive. Mm -hmm. If you have a wide variety of products, right? So that's positive. Definitely. Okay, batch. Now check. We can use these adjectives, most of them we will say with two or with no. How do we use them? Okay. 
because before we enter to, to the examples, we're going to check the conversation. So you can see these adjectives or at least some of them in context, right? I'm going to read it first and then with me. Competition just released a clone of our headphones. They are attractive enough to make us lose positioning in the market. Two, we will renew the look of our headphones. Let's make them colorful enough so that people can recognize them easy. We can also try with an in advertisement campaign, renewing the look and packaging with, while mom will, will take months and an advertising campaign is too expensive. The best thing we can do is to change our pricing strategy. It's fast enough to help us counter our competitive release of their products. We already had that conversation before in class, but I want to, to take it again because of the example, right? So they are attractive enough. They are colorful enough. And they are fast enough. Yes? And we use enough, if you notice, the position of the adjective is after the adjective, right? So, I am tall enough for what? I'm tall enough for touching the ceiling, for example. I'm strong enough for carrying this bag. So check the position, right? We have with adjectives, with adjectives we have the adjective strong, then enough, and then you're using the infinitive to, right? So you say he is strong enough to lift that box. So he's not strong enough to do what, right? So that's how you complement the idea here. He isn't strong enough, and most of the time when we use it, uh, enough the sentence is negative and check I say most of the time because in some cases you may use it in affirmative but in many cases it is used in negative so you say she's pretty enough to be a model pretty enough to do what she's pretty enough to do what to be a model right I was lucky enough Hey, lucky enough to what? To win, right? I was lucky enough to win the lottery last month. The hamburger was big enough to satisfy my appetite. Big enough to, to what? To satisfy my appetite. So you always need one extra thing, right? El tú. So as I was telling you, I am I am not tall enough to talk the ceiling. Right? I'm not tall enough to do what? To touch the ceiling. Right? I'm tall enough to do other things, but not to touch the ceiling. Yeah? And then we have another structure. I told you, even in the manual, it says uh, two with adjectives, but we're going to see other uses of two or other uses of enough, right? For example, we use enough checking. The enough goes after the adjective that if you're using it with a noun, it goes before the noun. So you say, I have enough money. To do what? Mm -hmm. To buy an island. Yes. I have enough money to buy lunch tomorrow. She has enough time to read this book. Yes. She has enough time to read this book. 
I guess in December, we'll have enough time to read this book. For a while, I just have it here. At one day, I will have enough time to read it, right? There is enough room to sit down. When you're in a chair or, or on, a, on a bench, right? You have a space, but you don't say space, you say room. There is enough room to sit to 34 people. Yeah, or it can be a bus. There is enough room to fit 34 people. There is enough food for a monkey. Or there is enough food to feed all the families. That is, uh, when we are using, that when we are using uh, enough last a noun, okay? But we can have also, or we can also use enough with a verb. And then you say he works enough to have a good salary, right? He works enough, but what is enough? Suficient. Mm? Suficient. So necessary, right? He works. He works enough. Check after verbs. We have enough after verb too. He works enough to have a good salary. He's safe enough to retire young. He's safe enough to retire young. They eat enough to save the energy of the day for the day, right? They eat enough to save energy for the day. We don't sleep enough to be alert all day. Do you think you sleep enough? Do you sleep enough to be alert all day? Hmm? No, definitely not. No. No. no, we don't sleep enough to be alert all day. But anyway, we have to be alert all day, right? Okay, Can do you have any questions here? Questions? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, no teacher. No questions? No. No teacher. Okay. No. My, 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 my shoulder remembers that it hurts from time to time, right? Okay, let's move. In your manual, you have some examples, right? You see, enough as another means to the necessary degree, right? You already told me, sufficient. That's to the necessary degree. Necessary to do what? Right? So enough follows the adjective, it modifies, as you saw in the example. It can be used both in positive and negative sentences. In positive and negative. It is more common, we will say, to see it negative. It can be used in both. <clears throat> look at the example. The look of your online course from page is not professional enough. So you have professional and then enough. The package is user-friendly enough, right? That means it's very easy for the user to use, right? Their product design is not competitive enough for a high-end market. Our after-sell services are good enough to improve the positioning of our products. Mm -hmm. That is how we use enough. Now, remember that enough goes after adjectives and adverbs. I, I can't run very far. I'm not fit enough, right? I'm not fit enough. Let's go. We have waited long enough. I can let you know tomorrow. Is that soon enough? 
this is an adverb, right? And then uh, we are going to be using uh, also to compare to and not enough. For example, if you say, you never stop working, you never stop working, you work too hard, you work more than the necessary, yes? You're lazy, you don't work hard enough, less than the necessary. You see, you work too hard, but you don't work hard enough. Is that clear for you? For example, if I tell you, you are too young to enter to see that movie. You are too young to see that movie. That means that you don't have the necessary age to see that movie, right? Or I can also tell you, you are not old enough to see that movie, right? You're less than the necessary Oh, So you have to be... 18 to see the movie and you're 16. So you are, you aren't, in that case, we will use negative. You aren't old enough to see the movie, but you are too old to see, to enter that game, right? I was watching a video about a man who went on a, on a game that was for little children. And of course the, the game got broken and the man fell down, right? Because he was too old for entering that game. And he was too big to enter that game. Okay? Questions? No questions? Mm -hmm. How do you uh, know in the example the, the old man playing the with the toys that you say. He was too old. He was too old to play in children's game. Or he wasn't young enough to play in those games. Mm -hmm. So you say too old or young enough. What you do is that to look for the opposite, right? Or you can say he was too old or he wasn't young enough. So he passed the age that was necessary, right? Now, look at these examples. Enough, we said enough normally goes before nouns. Remember the, the examples, right? I can run very far. I don't have enough energy. I cannot do, I cannot go to the gym. I don't have enough time. See? So we're using it with a noun. Do we have enough petrol or should we stop and get some? We have got enough money. We don't need any more. Some of us had to sit on the floor because there weren't enough chairs. So we use enough and then the noun, right? But in the case of the adjective, you use first the adjective and then enough. So that's a difference, right? We also use enough alone, right? We don't need to stop for patrol. We, we've got enough. Okay, so you can use it at the end in that case. Compare too much or too many and enough. There is too much furniture in this room. There is not enough space, right? There were too many people and not enough chairs. Remember, too much furniture. There is not enough space. We have, there are too many people and not enough chairs. Mm -hmm. 
You can say too many people and not enough food. Too many people and not enough space for everybody to fit. Any question there? Question. No questions? Mm -hmm. No teacher. Okay. Now, we say enough or two, right? For somebody or something. Does Joe have enough experience for the job? Enough experience. Imagine you're looking for a job, right? Then you go to the interview and imagine you have two people interviewing you. And one says, hmm, does Carla have enough experience for the job? Yes. This bag isn't big enough for all my clothes. Isn't big enough, right? For what? Remember, we were using before and not enough to do something, right? But in this case, we can also use for, or oh, it's in big enough for all my clothes, or it's in big enough to keep all my clothes, if you want to use the infinitive, right? That shirt is too small for you, yeah? So this coffee is too hot for me to drink it. It's too hot for whom? For me. For somebody who likes to drink very hot coffee, it's perfect, but not for me, okay? So you say, this coffee is too hot for me to drink it. Oh, this refreshment is too cold for me to drink it after being talking for such a long time. Mm -hmm. When you use enough, when you use to, remember, enough is suficiente, right? But to is demasiado, so it's more than the necessary, yeah? But we say enough for two to do something. For example, as we were saying before, Joe, or does Joe have enough experience to do, yeah? Enough experience to do, yeah? Enough experience to do the job or enough experience for the job. The two forms are correct. We, need, we don't have enough money to go on holiday right now. We don't have enough money for you to go on holiday, right? She's not all enough to have a driver license. She's not all enough, remember? We are making a combination between enough with nouns, with verbs, or with adjectives. She's too young to have a driver license. Too young. She's too young to do what? Or for what? Right, like in the previous case. The shirt is too small for whom? For the little boy, it's okay. But for me, that's too small, right? Or you say she's too young to have a driver's license. She's too young <clears throat> for having a driver's license. If you want to use for, you use the verb in the ing form. Let's get a taxi. It's too far to walk home from here. The following example has both, four and two. The bridge is just wide enough, wide enough for two people, for two cars to pass, right? That's why I was telling you, if you use four, for, for whom or for what? And if you use two, to do what, right? The bridge is just wide enough for two cars to pass, yeah? The coffee is too hot for me to drink it. Oh, the coffee is too hot to drink. Oh, the coffee is too hot for me. Any questions there? 
No questions. Yes. Yes, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No yet. No questions. No yet. You mean in the exam yet? In the practice, yes. Okay. No questions? No. Okay, let's see the other one. I have a couple more here. Yes, quiero ver, voy de regreso. Check. Remember. Remember uh, the use of a no, right? We said we use the adjective plus a no, plus infinity. I'm tall enough to play basketball professionally. I'm strong enough to leave that box, right? I'm tall enough. I'm strong enough. Mm -hmm. I have enough time to explain that to you. I have enough time. I have enough money. Talking about the use of enough plus a noun plus infinity. I have bought enough food. Verb, right? Verb plus enough plus a noun. I have bought enough food to feed an army. I eat enough carbohydrates. So you have a verb, a verb, enough, and a noun, and then infinity. I have enough carbohydrates to have maximum energy levels. Yeah? Any questions there? Questions? No. No questions? Watch boss. Now, compare. Check the instructions here. Identifying when to use very, to, or enough, right? The food was very hot. We couldn't, we couldn't eat it, right? Because it was very hot. The food was so hot. So hot. Just let me separate it a little bit. The food was so hot that we couldn't eat it. Mm -hmm. The food was so hot that we couldn't eat it. The food was big enough we could eat it. Mm, but what was it? for being a, a food that is big enough. There was a lunch. The lunch was too big, right? The, the lunch was too big that I couldn't eat it all. But when people go to those restaurants of all you can eat, right? The food was, or the, the lunch was too big that I couldn't eat it. I check when do we use berry, when we use so, and when we use to, right? The food was very hot. We couldn't eat it. The food was so hot that we couldn't eat it. Remember, we said last time when we were talking about uh, conjunctions, right? That we use so, and it can also modify. In this case, it's modifying the adjective. Right, the food was too hot to eat it. Yeah, so we're exaggerating. In the first one, you use it, in the other one, no, right? Just to it. Now, check some other examples. These boxes are too heavy, too heavy to carry. The wallet was too big to put in my pocket. This chair is um 
no es mi caso. <laughs> yeah. This chair isn't strong enough to stand on. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go to the exercises. We have uh, some sentences. Look at the words given big, coir, cups, fit, milk, money, room, time, warm, and well. What you're going to do here is complete the sentences using the right word. Okay? Any questions? Mm -hmm. No questions. No, teacher. The words that are, that are of, the, of the frame. The ones from the box. Use the words from the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We will use, we will do this one here and then we will do the other one in the group. Okay. We're just giving time to get to the attendance time. Mm Let me know when you finish so we can check.
Let me know when you finish, right? No, teacher. I can see it, teacher. You cannot see? No. Why? It's because the green is... Ah, okay. it's okay. For el grupo. <laughs> the names of the group were there. Whose hand? Now I can see it. Okay. Okay, okay. Let me know when you finish, right? Mm -hmm. Let me know when you finish, right?
Sí. Are you ready? Good, okay. Finish, finish. Okay, I'm going to call attendance while you finish, okay? Thank you, teacher. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. A ver, Adriana María. Present, teacher. Present. Adriana Sofía. Present, teacher. Ana. Present, teacher. El cuadrado se ve otra vez. ¿Mm? Es porque está tomando asistencia. Que no se, no se ve. No se ve el, el, la, la, la presentación. Ahora sí. Ay, no le creo. Este es Zoom. Y si yo me voy a pasar asistencia, ¿qué ven? Ahorita sí no afecta, pero en el momento anterior sí no se veía. Ajá, por eso. Pero si yo me voy de regreso. Go ahead. Ok, ahorita ya estoy en la lista. Vamos. Ok, we can, we can watch the... The image. Ah, va, ok, me avisan cualquier cosa. Cruz Antonio. Present. Eh, David. Present, teacher. Eddie. Present, teacher. Eddie. Oh, Present. Se acordó de nosotros, muy bien. Sí, I have I, I, I had problems with the with my work, but I, I I'm trying to to be here uh, for now. I I, I, I try I will try to do it. Okay. El Elmer Fabricio. Elmer, no here. El Elsa Cristina. Present. Felix. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Ok. Eddie se pone el nombre completo, oye. Ok, teacher. Y vos, Marcela. Present. Jennifer. Present teacher. José Alberto. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Mario Ernesto. Here. Nubia. Present teacher. Rebeca Marcela. Present teacher. Rosy. Rosy, Rosy, no está Rosy. ¿Quién me está manchando la lista? Like in classes, teacher. Sí. Ya. Yeah. Vaya. Rosa Hilda. No guía, Rosy. Victor. Victor. Claudia. Claudia, Claudia is there, no here, Claudita. She said present in the chat. Ok, ok. Claudita, qué oscura está. Eh, Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay. Se nos han perdido Elmer, Rosy and Victor today. Pacha. 
Okie dokie. Ready to check. Oh, see, sí, yeah, yeah. Me vine de la lista. I can, um, I can share with you. Bye. A ver. I can't run very fast. I'm not. I'm not what? Peter, no. Reno. Huh? Cureno. Fit. Fit. No. Fit. 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 No. Fit. Fit. No. Fit. 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 Fit.
Hmm. To do everything I want. Try this jacket on, or try this jacket on, and see if it's well big enough. Big enough. Well, ya lo usamos también. Big enough for you. Mm -hmm. If it is big enough for you. Number 10. There weren't enough cups. Mm -hmm. Enough. No cups. There weren't enough cups. For everybody to have drink, to have coffee at the same time. Yes. Ay, no sé. En mi teclado ya no se le ven, ya no se le ven las, las letras. <ríe> Bye. Ok. Ajá. Any question here? No question? No teacher. Ok. Bye. Now we go for the combination of two and enough. What you're going to do here in the exercise check is to complete the sentences, right? Complete the sentences, the no answers, more. complete the answers using to or enough and the words in parentheses. Mm -hmm. Ready for that? I'm going to share. Presento. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share it in the chat. Pero en el chat de WhatsApp hoy voy a dejar de compartir. Porque si no me regaña Zoom. Ana, ¿por qué no abre micrófono y me dice? Yo no puedo estar viendo el chat si le estoy explicando algo. Y hasta ahorita voy viendo que hay un cuadro negro en la pantalla. Si eso no se lo van a venir a arreglar los de allá de servicio técnico, no que yo. Oye. So sorry, teacher. A mí abra el micrófono y digan. Me pueden hablar tranquilamente. Ni que mordiera. <risa> ni que mordieran no, no, no. bueno sí las tortillas no pero es que el asunto es que si yo estoy explicándoles algo no puedo ver este allá no veo el chat el chat le echo una ojeadita así de vez en cuando cuando ustedes están trabajando pero mientras están en, en cómo se llama Mientras estoy explicándole, no, no, no veo. Ah, bueno, ¿y este qué chiquito? Ah, bueno, ahí están los ocho. Oye, así es que no, si quieren que yo vea lo que, lo que me están diciendo, o me escriben aquí en el chat de Zoom, o me lo di, o me, o me hablan, hablen, hablen, no un problema. Me pueden interrumpir y decirme, sí, yo no vemos. Oye, va. Ok, I'm going to send you in room, to the rooms. Ah, you're 20. And you will share the questions. They are in the chat of WhatsApp. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Vamos a ver, groups of three. I'm going to make, um, sí, porque cuatro mucho, verdad? It's better three, 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 three. Much. In the rooms, what you're going to do is work together to complete the sentences. I'm going to send David in, in a group of four because he's working and Jennifer because she's sick. Bye. Ahí está. Ahí está, ahí está. Jennifer solo lo va a estar hoy. Bye. Okay, ready? Ready, ready? What are you going to do? What are Cuatro you... oraciones. Mm -hmm. 
complete the sentences, right? The answers, right? Because you have the question and what you're going to complete, complete basically is the answer. There you go. Try to join. Hi, Rosy. Try to join. Try to join. Jose Alfredo, no la veo. No se, no se ha logrado ir. Grace Michelle, cheque si le aparece. Jose Alfredo. One of you can share. I can oh, share. I can't. I can't. Ay, no me digan que hoy no le di permiso. Como no. Si tienen mi permiso. <coughs> Mm -hmm. Nice. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. So, que la primera, she's not. English number one. She's number not. Three. She's not, and not all to have driving license. Are you sure? Oh, for me. Yeah. Maybe it could be Swiss. What is the order? Of... Not all enough. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But... All enough. To have a driving license. Mm -hmm. Well enough to have a driver's license. Uh, and the number two, I need to talk to you about something. Well, I am afraid. I am too... Be easy to talk, you know. Maybe. I'm too busy to talk. Too busy, yep. Uh huh. I'm Let's too. go to the cinema. No, it's too late to go to this. Well, yeah. I'm afraid. I'm busy um, enough to talk to you now. I think it's too busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, pray. I am too busy. I'm too busy. To talk to you now. Okay, number three, let's go to the cinema, or cinema, cinemas. To the cinema. No, it's too late. To too late, to too late. Mm -hmm. Too late to go to the cinema is cinema or cinema teacher to the cinema cinema okay cinema. okay number four 
Why don't we sit out sit outside? No, it is not warm enough. Warm enough outside. Outside. Hi. 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 One of you can share the 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 screen, chicos. No, in my. Oh. It is possible too. What about you, Mari? Yeah, I I got to share. Let me let me let me show. Let me see something. Teacher, we don't not understand the second part. You have to yeah. join the two sentences to make one using two or using enough. Así como los examples que les estaba dando. Entonces. Podría ser, the boxes are too heavy to carry. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Well. Exactly. They are too heavy to carry. Okay. Eddie, no entró Eddie. <clears throat> no, no, too shy. Hi, I am too shy. No, no, I am too shy. I am too shy. Would you like to be a teacher? No, I, I don't have enough patience. No, I don't have enough patience. Enough? Enough patience. Okay. I saw that I teach. Patience. Voy a buscar cómo bajar porque no la veo. No la veo. Sí, espérame que estoy buscando cómo bajar porque no me veo en las barras. They are pro probably they are covered. Uh -huh. No las encuentro. Yo sí que 
Y yo me Ella... pongo a darle como que vean yo. Aquí se me ha perdido, pero ahí vamos. Mm. No son estos cuadrititos que están aquí. ¿Cómo no? Eso. ¿Está? No. No, fiche. No. Ah, no, no. No, no, no. Pero bueno, ahí se ve. Did you hear what he was saying? Did you hear? Did you hear, perdón. Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear what he was saying? Did you hear what he was saying? Uh, far away. Um, no, we were far away. Too, too far away. Mm -hmm. We were too far away. To hear what he was saying. Okay. Can he read a newspaper in English? No, he doesn't. He doesn't know enough English. No. Me van a tomar captura para sí. pasarnos a la otra. ¿Quién? ¿Yo? No, las dos para pasarme la, al otro cuadro. Ay, pero eso sí, está demasiado ya. chiquito. No lo veo. Bueno, voy a tratar. No, pero me dije, es que yo también voy a tratar. Es que se me ha perdido. No sé, no entiendo cómo. Quizás como solo lo copié, lo pegué y para avanzar. Hoy ya se me perdieron las otras barras, pero aquí está. Bueno. Que no sé qué se me han hecho las barras. Y donde tiene una flechita ahí no es para ampliar la, la pantalla. ¿Cómo? Hay que ir a pare... Hay una flechita. ¿Esta? Que... ¿Esta? Ajá. ¿Sí? No, no le sé nada. Mm. Es que no sé ni cómo lo pegué. O sea, como lo pegué rápido. No sé qué hice. Mm. Lo que quiere, si quiere hacerla grande, tiene que darle en la crucita que está abajo, en la esquina de abajo. ¿En esta? Sí. No se re, porque tengo que ir a quitar la batería. No, es que no, no sé qué. No, una crucita que está en la media esquina, pero allá. Mm. Al lado derecho. No, no cerré las luces. No apague las luces. No, teacher. No. Un cuento. Hoy sí me abrumó la tecnología. <risa> sí, pero es que es el PDF el que da el problema. Es que solo lo copié, lo agarré y hasta ahí. Pero así se ve. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Ahorita voy a, voy a compartir yo entonces la siguiente. Ok. okay. okay. You take the boxes too heavy and printed. I think that the, yo creo que porque ya se usó tú al inicio en el en este caso tendríamos que usar enough porque es como la opción que no se ha usado pienso yo no sé pero no sé si estoy bien. Chequen las dos oraciones que se le están dando ahí tiene la clave. In the two sentences. Mm -hmm. Porque ahí you have the clue of what you have to use. If you have to use two or if you have to use enough. 
Oh. Ajá, mira la calita, ve. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ajá, so yeah, pay attention. The boxes. Because you're using two in the first and you're using two in, in the first three sentences. Well, in so many of them. Yeah. What, what, what did you do with the boxes? Couldn't carry. Aha, uh -huh, but give me the, the whole sentence. The boxes are too heavy to carry. Mm -hmm, exactly. Where? Because it's in past, right? The boxes. Uh, the boxes were too heavy to carry them. Uh huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In some cases, you will use enough. In some other cases, you will use two. But check that the meaning doesn't change, right? Mm -hmm. The boxes were too heavy. heavy. Were too heavy. Heavy? To, to carry them. To carry. No, to carry. Solamente. To carry. Oh, okay. And to carry. Okay, the boxes were too heavy to carry. Okay, can drink this coffee, it's too hot. This coffee, it's too hot oh, to drink. This coffee is too hot to drink. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This coffee oh. is too hot for drink. Yeah. For drink. No, to, to drink. To drink. For me to drink. Right? But if you use the infinitive only, that would be to drink. To carry. Nobody the piano. The piano is the same teacher, the piano. See, the piano. The piano was too heavy to, to move. move. To move. Oh. Ah, ya ve, ya le hallaron. It's easy. <laughs> That's easy. No. No. Okay. Piano. What is right, teacher? What is right? In, in the form, they are no ripe or rip or rip. Rip. Right. Hmm. Rip. Vamos a ver. Rip. Ya les el meaning del dictionary. Eh, all fruit or grain uh, up to the point of readiness. For harvesting, maduro. Uh -huh. I, I, I know. Uh -huh. Thank you. <laughs> maduro. So these apples right. are not enough ripe. Right. 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 Listen. Right. Uh -huh. So that's right. These, these apples are not enough right. Mm -hmm. Make a to eat. Uh -huh, but make a change. Make a switch. Chequen cuando les hago así. Es que tienen que hacer un cambio, ¿verdad? These uh -huh. apples are enough right. Negative. Are not uh, right. Are not ripe enough. Mm -hmm, exactly. Are not ripe enough. Ripe. I know. Mm -hmm. Ripe enough to eat. Ripe enough. This apple are not ripe enough to eat. Ripe apples. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. I we can explain the situation. It's the current right. the situation. So we get number six. Okay, we number six. Um, situation. Situation. It's too. It's too complicated to explain. To explain. Can you? <laughs> The situation is too complicated to explain. Mm -hmm. Then the world was the wall was too high to climb over the wall. No. The wall was too high to climb. Was too high to climb. Yes, it's too high. To climb. climb. Mm -hmm. Okay, three people can sit on this sofa. It isn't big enough. It's it isn't. It's not. It's so far. It's big enough. It's so far. It's big enough. It's big enough. To see, to see three people. No. It's so. I just understood that the sofa is the sofa. It's not even is isn't big enough to sit three people. No, three people. Let's see some things without a microscope. They are too small. Something. This sofa too small to see. This sofa isn't big enough to see. Some things are too small to see without a microscope. Can see some things without a microscope. They're too small. It's too late. Some things are too small to see, to see? without a microscope. Without. Estas están, estas están bonitas. <laughs> Ahora que ya les entendí, ¿no? <laughs> exactly. No, pero the number seven, how was? Uh -huh. What happened with the number seven? The sofa isn't big enough to sit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok, ok. Yes, it's in big enough. Como Carlita no dijo nada, yo dije. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's okay, it's okay. No, pero así lo había dejado. The sofa is in big enough to sit. Okay. Some things some thing are too small to see. I think the five's not. She is cool enough. Some things are too small to see. To see. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Ay. Hola, pero, perdona molestia. Así que fíjese de que tengo problemas con el celular. Al parecer es la batería. Entonces, no sé si le ha pasado de que de repente se apaga el teléfono. Aunque tenga suficiente carga y después se vuelve a reiniciar. Ah, es el problema sí. que tengo con este aparato. Sí, sí, un montón de veces. 
Sí. ¿Hola? Montón de veces, cara. No, no, no. Las otras han sido por cuestiones de trabajo. Y no, yo le digo que un montón de veces me ha pasado eso. Ay, perdón. Sí. <ríe> Entonces, eh, la disculpa. Entonces me salí del grupo en el que estaba. Quise volver. Pero al parecer me mandó a otro grupo. ¿En what group were you? Eh, fíjese que el número no lo recuerdo, pero me tira siempre al número 3, pero no es en el que estaba. No ah, me no da pena con los compañeros porque van a creer que me retiré. No, no, no le acaso. ¿Qué quédese con ellos? <risa> ya ah, vaya, pues. Ya terminaron, ¿verdad, Mario? Pues I don't remember. Ah, no sabe qué, Eddie. Su grupo lo desaparecí. Por el 6. Ah, okay. Porque de repente Rebeca quedó solita. Entonces la ah, okay. a otro grupo. Sí, no se preocupe. Aquí quédese con ellos. Vale, pues muy amable. Gracias. Okay. Teacher, the only thing that we, we have problem, so we are thinking if correct or not, okay. is the number 7. Uh, we can say isn't enough big or uh, isn't big enough. Isn't big enough. Isn't big enough. Sí. Okay. Remember that the enough is after the adjective. Before the noun, but after the adjective. Okay. Okay. Um, y la número cuatro, no sé también. The apples aren't enough ripe to eat. Enough, the same, the same. You put first the adjective and then enough. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh, you do the same change there. Too heavy, too complicated, too. A better form. Mm -hmm. Sí. Ripe enough. Mm -hmm. Me los llevaré. You ready? Yeah. You ready to cheer? Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> Vamos a ver. Hey. Ready. Ready, ready. Vamos a ver. Does she have a driver, a driving license? Does she have a driving license? Hello. 
No, she's not. Not. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, teacher. I'm a little sleepy. Oh. Vamos, vamos. No, she isn't old enough. Coffee, coffee. No, she isn't old enough. And number two. I need to talk to you about something. Well, I'm a my friend. Well, I'm afraid I'm too busy to talk to you. I'm too busy. I'm too busy to talk to you now. Let's go to the cinema late. And you have to use late. Let's go to the cinema. It's too late. No, it is too late. Mm -hmm. It's too late to go to the cinema. Number four, I, why do we sit outside? No, it's not warm enough outside. Uh -huh. No, it's not warm enough. Mm -hmm. Would you like to be a politician? No, no I am too I'm shy. too shy. To I'm be a politician. No, I'm too shy to be a politician. Would you like to be a teacher? Hmm? So like, would you like to be a teacher? Don't have buttons, no. <laughs> no, I don't have, I don't have. Patience, no. No patience, no patience. No, patience. Uh -huh. no I don't have. No es que cruz cruz verdad teacher, no. I don't have enough patience, okay. No, eso es aprendido with the time. Mm -hmm. Oh, sí. I don't have enough patience. Okay. Um, hmm. Did you hear what he was saying? No, we were, we were too, too far, far away. Too far away. Too far away. We were too far away to hear what he was saying. Teacher, when, when, when we have nouns, we use a no, uh, the first or before the, 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 the name G or the subject. Mm -hmm. It is adjective, the adjective is before. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why you have warm, warm enough adjective, right? Enough patience, patience is a noun. Mm -hmm. Okay. There is a difference in order. Can he read a newspaper in English? Okay. No, he doesn't know English enough to mm -hmm. read a newspaper. Is English an adjective or a noun here? A noun. <laughs> So, he doesn't know enough English. Exactly. No, he oh, doesn't. sorry. <laughs> he doesn't know enough English. Ay, qué letra. A ver. Enough English to read a newspaper. Oh, I forgot that. Hmm? I forgot that. The the English? Uh, 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 that ruler. Uh, ah, yes, that you use enough before nouns, but after adjectives, right? Okay. Now, in the other uh, group, you have two sentences, but you have to um, make just one using to or using enough plus infinitive, okay? 
So we couldn't carry the boxes. They were too heavy. The boxes are too heavy to carry. Mm -hmm. Where? In pass, right? The boxes were too heavy. Were to too heavy to carry. Yes. The boxes were too heavy to carry. Yes, one. Um, yes, one. Oh, after, after heavy. After heavy, two. That is, that is infinitive. It is uh, one. Oh. Si, 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 si. Si, 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 si. Eh, ¿en qué estoy pensando? En comida, seguramente. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, the boxes were too heavy to carry. Thank you, thank you. I don't know. Okay, and in these sentences, I didn't understand, and I, I yeah, did, I, why I did. two two? Yeah, why two two in the same sentence? Yeah, the right. Okay. okay, let's see the second. I can't drink this coffee. It's too hot. This coffee is. This coffee too is hot. Too, hot to drink. too hot to drink. Too hot to drink. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God, what's easy? It's too hot to drink. Okay. Nobody could move the piano, it was too heavy. The piano was, was too, too heavy, heavy to move. move. Mm. To move. <laughs> Oh my God. Easy, ¿verdad? Easy, easy. The piano it's was too, too, too heavy to drink, to, to drink, to move. Okay, the piano was too heavy to move. Okay. And don't eat this apple. They are not ripe enough. These apples are not ripe enough. Not ripe enough. Uh huh. Aren't ripe eat. enough. Wait. Okay. I can't explain the situation. It's too complicated. The situation is too it's complicated, too complicated to explain. Complicated to explain. To explain. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, we couldn't climb over the wall. It was too high. The, the wall was too wall high. Was too high to climb. Mm -hmm. Was too high. We ya medio calorcito. Was too high to climb. Yes. Nice. Three people can't sit on this sofa. It isn't big enough. The sofa isn't big enough mm -hmm. to sit. It's big enough to sit. Right? To sit. Okay. And the last one, you can see some things without microscope. They are too small. Some things are too small. Too small to see. Are too small. I see that. Are too small 
to see them without a microscope. Some things are too small to see without a microscope. Mm -hmm. Any questions? No questions? I no. have a question. No. Uh, teacher, for example, in the number six, uh, when you say, oh, you can use it at the end. Mm -hmm. For example, the wall was uh, too high to climb it. For example, can you use it at the end? Remember that we saw our, one of the rules that said, I do not use it when you use it too. Okay, I forgot that. Uh -huh. but, <laughs> but you know okay, you're talking about the, about the wall, right? So you say the wall was too high to climb. Okay, thank you, teacher. It was too hot to drink. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay. Teacher, Hello. in the number six mm -hmm. is two double O. Hey, the situation is... <laughs> this one, or what? Uh, num number five. I can be a a la otra le había que tengo hambre y yo no funciono si tengo hambre. Me como las letras. <laughs> si tengo okay. hambre, me como las letras. Como no me la puedo comer. We can come. go in this moment, teacher. <laughs> Ten minutes left. Oops. Not 20. Because, because um, if, if, if I live now, it's 20 minutes before. Okay, any question here? No question? We have no question. No. Exactly 10 minutes to describe this mobile brands. Use an adjective and use enough. You have the LG, a Sony Xperia, an iPhone, and a Samsung. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. I'm going to make different groups quickly. Right, uh, I'm going to make four groups only. And I'm going to give you one uh, each by a group number one, Adriana, Claudia, Felix, Nubia, Rebecca. You talk about the first one. Uh, Jennifer, Jose Alberto, Carla, Mauricio, number two. Ana, Cruz, Eddie, Elsa, Cristina y Grace, number three. Y, ah, espérenme, aquí voy a un cambio porque, porque, porque David no, eh, no sé, sigue trabajando, David. Yes, teacher. Ay, no, David, so sorry. Bye. David lo mandé al uno hoy. Y eh, mandé al, a Nubia para el cuatro. So, Nubia, with Adriana, Sofia, Mario, and Rosie, you talk about the, the product number four. So, you have, uh, you have four in total. Check. A group number one, you talk about the LG. Number two, about the Sony Xperia. Number three, about the iPhone. And number four, about the Samsung. Um, what you're going to do is make sentences or describe the brand using an adjective plus a note. Three sentences will be okay. Okay? Three sentences to describe it. Okay. Okay, vámonos. Okay, it is almost um? the time. Mario, you are in number four. Vámonos. No, no. Vámonos. You have on eh, three minutes. It's enough for three sentences, right? You're describing only one. Remember, just one. You're not describing the four. Just one. Teacher, I, I push the button in the, the, no um, <laughs> the, yes. 
Ay, miren. La voy a mandar allá y ya la voy a devolver al 4. Okay. Vaya, cheque. Ok. Ya, yeah. gracias. Smart TV, the G. Is this faster enough? Faster enough. No. Pero sería fast. Fast no. Fast. Ok, fast. That was not updated now. Yeah, cool works. <laughs> you have the most difficult. Yes. Have, have, you, have you used it before, the Sony Xperia? And yes. The many years. Ah, but okay, at least you know it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 20, 12 years ago. Okay. So many times. Long time ago. Long, long time. Ah, but you know it. That's good. Okay, I, I have one, I guess. Mm -hmm. Sony, Sony Xperia are not bigger in note like who said to be. Bigger in note? Like who said to be. You said to be. Yes. Carla, do you remember a Sony Xperias? Do you have one? No. Really? No. Are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> no. Do you remember the Walmart? Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's, the, that's the brand. Ah. Uh. But I didn't have. You don't have a Walmart? No. I have one, but in 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 when included in the cell phone. Do you uh, remember Alberto? 
Um, a little. One minute. <clears throat> Tomorrow, I will ask you to chair because today it's time for the last attendance. So tomorrow be ready, right? Be ready to chair what you want today. Let's see, Adriana Maria. Present, teacher. Yes. Adriana Sofia. No, here yet. Hmm. on, no, see, everybody is here. Sofia. Eh, Ana? I'm here. Cruz Antonio. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Eddie. Present teacher. Elmer Fabricio. Elsa Cristina. Present teacher. Felix. Present teacher. Alex Michelle. Present teacher. Oh, Marcela. Jane Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jose Alberto. Present teacher. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Carla. Present teacher. Mario. Mario. I'm here. I'm here. No, we have Nubia, Nubia. Present, teacher. Gray se queda conmigo hoy. Nubia no here. <ríe> sí, verdad, Nubia, que Gray se esconde. ¿Me? Yes. Me. Ah, ok. Rebeca. Present, teacher. Yes. Rosy. Present, teacher. Victor. Victor, no, verdad. Claudia and Mauricio Emilio. Well, good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Tomorrow you will share your sentences with me. I know you're tired. Okay. Tire. I know you're tired, so go rest, right? Go rest. Mm, thank you. Teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, teacher. Bye. Teacher, creo que perdí la última lista. Mm. Ah, sí. A ver dónde andaba. Me levanté. <laughs> Se fue. Adriana Sofía. Adriana Sofía. Ok, thank you. Sure. Good night. Good night. Good night. A dormir. Hey, Grace. Ah, no, ahí está. No. <ríe> y que de repente, de repente cambió la fotito y ya no vi la fotito. Grace. No, ya fue real. <ríe> yeah. Yeah. No, teacher. Sorry, pero me está costando bastante. Yo le escribí a, creo que la que está encargada de este grupo es Fabiola, uh -huh. porque yo estoy ya en el último semana para mi examen, es el último, entonces yo me reúno a estudiar, salgo de trabajar y me pongo a estudiar, o sea, me cuesta un montón porque yo no quería inscribir este módulo, pero como me dice mi jefe, es en automático, como que va un mes atrasado, no sé, o sea, ah. como que me abarca lo que... Lo... Una pregunta, yo no me iba a quedar entonces, sino que Grace. Grace. No, ah, ok. Nubia, ya le digo cuando le toca a Nubia. Nubia, Nubia, le toca 
el 17, el día número 17, o sea que es la otra semana. El lunes, ajá. Ah, es que, es que había entendido que yo, pero no. Creo, creo que es el otro martes. <risa> no, 17 me cae el lunes. No, el, la clase número 17. Ah, ah, ok. okay. Hoy está Grace. Mañana, okay. mañana es miércoles, Ivonne. El jueves, Jennifer. Viernes, José Alberto. Lunes, José Alfredo. Tarde, Carla. Miércoles, Mario. Jueves le toca a usted. De ah, tiempo. ok. Perfecto. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Así que me, me está acosando. Si viera, mire cómo estoy aquí. Ya va a ver. <ríe> Tengo mi computadora, mi libro. Bye. Más papeles. <ríe> mis mochilas aquí porque tengo todos mis libros. Y aparece teacher. <ríe> y es el último examen que tengo ya antes de, de graduarme. Y yo no quería perder este módulo. Entonces quería suspenderlo y retomarlo ya el otro mes. Porque yo el 29 tengo mi examen. Ah, y justo terminamos este curso. Ajá, entonces yo le escribí a ella si había alguna posibilidad de yo repetir este curso después, o sea, cuando termine, porque no me, el anterior me dijeron que no podía salirme, o sea, porque iba a perder la beca, entonces yo quería saber si el próximo puedo volver a inscribir este, porque este es mentira, no, yo no he prestado atención, o sea, algunas cosas sí las escucho, pero realmente yo estoy estudiando para mi examen, pues. Entonces, no, incluso la plataforma, algunas cosas, Rosy me ayuda y que me, me dice algunos datos, ¿verdad? Que me dice, mire, tal cosa, así funciona, o igual mi mamá me ayuda también con algunas cosas. Entonces, yo trato de llevar al día la plataforma, pero no había podido ingresar, este, igual Fabiola me dio acceso hasta, no sé, de si viernes o jueves. Por eso no había podido completar. Ahora ya estoy completando. Creo que me faltan como tres para ponerme al día. Ah, ok. Así no me equivoco. Entonces, por eso yo realmente no es que no quiera aprender, si sí quiero. Pero ahorita ese es el último para poder graduarme. Entonces, pues me tengo que preparar. Oh, y con Dios. el trabajo me cuesta porque salgo ya a las seis. Yo vengo llegando aquí a veces un cuarto a las siete. En lo que ceno. Me tengo que poner a estudiar, luego me tengo que ir al siguiente día a las 7 de la mañana. O sea, no, no me queda tiempo realmente. Entonces ya eh, quiero saber, voy a hablar bien con ella si puedo repetir este curso. Yo voy a tratar de completar todo, uh -huh. pero de que ella me haga por lo menos volver a repetirlo, porque es mentira. O sea, yo este curso lo puedo aprobar porque me conecte o porque haga las tareas, pero no porque haya aprendido. Y no me gustaría avanzar si pues, sé que no he aprendido esta parte. Los, los temas van cambiando, ¿verdad? Con... Sí. Y yo sí siento la diferencia porque ahorita que hago las tareas de, esta, de este módulo, ay, yo siento que no tengo ni idea de algunas cosas. Yo las leo en inglés, luego las traduzco y veo ahí más o menos qué es los datos que dice la clase, pero yo en mi trabajo es de atención al cliente, no me puedo poner a escucharla durante el día la clase, o sea, repetirla. Sí. Entonces, es mentira de, de este curso, yo eso es lo que lamento, porque no lo puedo interrumpir, o sea, dejarlo votado, porque entonces ya no me van a dar la oportunidad de, de poder de volver. continuar. Ajá. En cambio, si lo termino, yo digo, mire, vea si lo puedo repetir o si cuando ya haya terminado pues puedo estudiarlo como tal porque es justamente este, este mes yo no hubiera querido inscribir este módulo porque cabal yo sabía que me iba a absorber cabal lo del oh, tiempo oh, sí, es bien difícil es que es bien sí. difícil estar trabajando estudiando en la U es bien difícil sí, ya es el último el, el anterior gracias a Dios pues lo aprobé son dos exámenes para poder graduarme, entonces, para ayudar el área para abogado. Ok. Uh -huh. Entonces, el primero son las materias sustantivas y son exámenes verbales. Entonces, eh, ahora van las procesales y ese examen está más complicado, así que. Leer un montón, las leyes y todo eso. 
Así que ahí, ahí voy. Así que si a veces no estoy, no participo, no me uno, es porque a veces incluso hoy casualmente no estoy con mis compañeros, pero yo a veces me reúno a estudiar con mis compañeros. O sea, no estoy conectada como que prestándole atención a la clase realmente, sino que solamente para no perder el tiempo como ellos me decían que tengo que cumplirlo, ¿verdad? Para no perder la oportunidad de seguir aprendiendo en futuras ocasiones, porque si uno pierde un módulo, entonces, aunque después yo quiera ingresar a otro, ya no me van a dar la oportunidad, porque van a decir que lo dejé votado, lo perdí, no aproveché la oportunidad, y no es esa la... Bien. El chiso pues, es una gran oportunidad de aprender, y sí. en los cursos anteriores yo sí siento que he aprendido bastante. Sí, y... Ahí lo que puede hacer, si acaso no pudiera, ¿verdad? Este, repetir este, ver los videos ya al pasar todo esto, ¿verdad? Ver el, los videos para ir. ¿Sabe en la plataforma cuánto tiempo queda vigente poder estudiarlo? Eh, o sea, después de que ha terminado el curso, hasta que inicia el siguiente. Creo que como unas semana más como una, sí un poquito más de una semana más ah porque hoy no me daba ingreso, me decía que no, te, no estaba invitada al grupo y mm. yo escribí que no me podía ingresar que creí que era por la computadora porque normalmente los, los quiz los lleno del, del teléfono entonces eh, escribí, le pregunté a él, me dijo no, le voy a mandar un correo, me mandaron un correo de invitación y ya pude hacer e ingresar no, a la pasó porque a Ivonne le pasó lo mismo no sí puedo... yo oí que alguien mencionó pero justamente en ese momento estaba reunida con mis compañeros no podía como que sí. perder pero alcancé a escuchar que, que decía sí, Ivonne comentó que le dio problema también a la hora de entrar a la plataforma y le tocó que volviera a pedir, bueno, le pidieron el correo, ¿verdad? Para poderle inscribir con otro correo. Y fíjese que yo por eso paso ahí insistiéndoles, mire, ¿cómo van? ¿Pudieron entrar? ¿Lograron entrar? Porque, ajá, por cualquier problema, a mí hoy este curso, hubo un día que, que me costó entrar. Ah, sí, que el, el, vi que le habían escrito que, que me si no se había conectado. Sí, me bloqueó. Vas a ver. Ajá. Hubo un día que me bloqueó, pero tenía tiempo yo. Y hubo otro día que simplemente no, no me aceptaba la contraseña. Y yo puse la contraseña y después dije, ups, no pido ayuda porque no me dejan entrar. Entonces no vaya a ser que se me bloquee. Y ahí sí, no, vea, ya se arruina porque... Si se le bloquea, se bloquea por media hora. Uh, uh -huh. Ajá, no, a mí no, me dejaba no, ingres, no, ingresar no. a la plataforma, pero me decía que justamente el, como el link que te mandan es el que ya automáticamente te lleva al módulo que uno está, ¿verdad? Ajá, Yo buscaba y no me daba. Lo busqué desde fuera, desde cursos, por individual. Igual me decía que necesitaba invitación al curso. Entonces yo dije, o quizás es el teléfono, no ingrese bien o algo, va, lo dejé otro día más, y ahí como tres días que no, dije, yo, algo no está bien aquí, y a veces ellos en, en, la, en el WhatsApp no contestan de inmediato en el mismo día, sí. me contestaron hasta el siguiente día, pero sí, inmediatamente me dije, ya, ok, revise su correo, ahorita se lo mando, y me mandó ya ella un correo con un link que decía que estaba acceso para la plataforma, y no sé qué, y ya, ahí sí ya me salió ya toda la plataforma entonces, hoy sí. ya completé varios esta, ¿qué clase sería? la es, si la otra es la 17, es como la 8, esta es la clase 10, 10 uh -huh. para ya, poder para llenar todo, no me equivoco es el 2.11 el del, ahora exacto donde ah, está lo del tú y en off es la 2.11 la tarea. Okay, sí. Es que hay una que era individual, una clase, un quiz, una clase, un quiz. Ahorita ya va dos clases, un quiz. Ajá, es que la unidad 2, todas así, dos clases, un quiz, dos clases, un quiz. La 1, la 3, la 4 son así. De, lo malo es que esta unidad me los deja acostumbrados. Entonces hay un montón de gente que se me atrasa en la tercera y la cuarta. 
Por eso. Ah, porque el va cada dos, dos días. Dos clases, una tarea, dos clases, una tarea. Y ya cuando llegamos a la, tarea, a la unidad trecha, ¿no? Ya, ya. ya vuelve a una clase, un quiz, una clase, un quiz. Exacto. Exacto. Vaya, pero voy a procurar ponerme otro ratito, terminar, porque ya adelanté, a, pero no sé en cuál, en cuál voy, no me, no me he percatado qué número, porque a veces no me cambia la página, solo el quiz cambia. Sí, Entonces, ahí, no me... Ajá. Sí, porque ya para la otra semana, el martes, ya tienen que tener hecho el de medio curso también. El midterm, ok. Así sí, pues que... ya voy a tratar de avanzar igual. Si en caso no me dejan, pues ojalá repetir el, el curso, porque como es una secuencia, ¿no? pues es sí. como que me estuvieran aplazando. <risa> Qué Ajá. Entonces voy a ver si puedo descargar las clases, como quedan guardadas en, en YouTube. Uh -huh. Ajá, guardar YouTube. todos los links para después escucharlas en el propio. La clase se puede no, poner pero... al día, ¿verdad? Para ir reforzando todo eso. Ay, sí, primero Dios que algún día hable fluido, porque algunas cosas sí las entiendo, otras sí no, no las domino realmente, la conversación. No, pero ahí es de darle, repasar y repasar, ¿verdad? Para aquí. Sí, bueno, la dejo descansar, <risa> dicho. Sí, deseo, oye. Feliz noche, gracias. Y sí, adelante. Gracias. Take care. Adiós. Gracias.